Hey y'all, it's Angel with Touched by an Angel Arts and Crafts. Back with another video to show you guys how to create that Walmart clock on Silhouette. I did a previous video on how to do it on GIMP. I'm going to show you how to do it on Silhouette. The first step is to make sure you have your um, print border on. So you want to check show print border. If you are cutting, make sure you have your show cut border on. If you don't, you'll do like I did. I print it and it was all the way over here because I didn't have this border on. Okay, so we want to go to the file folder. It says open if you hover over it. Go to open. We are going to select the Kobe Bryant picture. Let's make this picture smaller. Going over here to the circle tool, which is not loading up. There you go. And select draw an eclipse. We're going to just draw an eclipse. Change the size. We're going to make the width 7.25. The height 7.25. And hit enter. We're going to lock that. Make sure you don't, why this is like a little cross, make sure you don't click again because it'll create another circle. So you want to go over here to the select tool to move it. So I'm going to move the picture within the circle so I can see kind of where I want it to be. About right. Mm. Stretch it. Okay, yeah, stretch it. Okay, so we will do it like that. So you want to get your picture centered. So once you got your picture all centered, you go to Object, Modify. Oh, before you do that, you want to select both. Then go to Object. Sorry about that. Modify intersect so there we have it make sure this is 7.25 for width and height and make sure it's within your print line which is right here you can see the middle. okay so now the next step is to bring in the clock numbers you want to look for transparent clock numbers in google and it's a lot of them you can find in there and upload it. So how are we going to upload that without creating another tab is go to File, Merge. I'm going to look for the clock numbers. Click OK. So now for the clock, we want to change the width and the height. The width being 7.25, the height being 7.25 and hit enter. Lock it. So let's say you didn't want black. Say you wanted a different color. Let's change the color. So the steps for changing the color is to click the little piece of toast looking thing, the trace. Select trace area. We are going to select this area. We are going to do a solid fill. Threshold is in the middle. We're going to move it all the way up and hit trace. Pull it away. We are going to get rid of the black one and now use the red one. Let's change the red color to a yellow. Make sure you don't do this one, but do this one with the little crosses right here. Drop it down. Drop it. Select it first. Yellow. Here we go. So we pull that over here. And I can tell you right now, it's not on 7.25. 
unlock that and change. 7.25 to 7.25. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So our picture on Bam. Mm, I think that looks all right. What y'all think? It's cute. Okay. Select both of them now. Go to object and group. Now you have when it loads. When it loads. When it loads. Oh, it didn't group it. Hold on. I think it did it now. No, it's what it did. Hold on. Go to object and go to group. They should be grouped together. There we go. And it's done and that's it. And then you just print. So that is it folks. Now you saw how to do it in the Silhouette Studio. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was very helpful to you. Please like and subscribe to my channel. You can also comment. If you would like to join my craft group, go to Touch by or actually learn arts and crafts with Touch by an Angel 36. Um, YouTube, of course, is um, Touch by an Angel 36, as well as my Instagram. Um, I do have a painting Facebook page, which is Touch by an Angel 36 as well. You all have a great day. All right, guys. Sorry, my chair needs some WD for that. Um, let's put the clock together. I'm going to cut the picture. First, you need this, the clock, some scissors, some double-sided tag. And I use this for the middle eye for the life of me. Cannot remember what the name of this tool is called, but it's in the in the sewing owl. I don't know what it's called. So let's go ahead and let's see what size we want it. Let's cut this around in the circle. Following the outside line. It looks so pretty on this paper. This glittered paper, you guys. I can barely see the little Would have like a perfect perfect cut if i had the silhouette where i could have just print it and cut it too but i don't have the silhouette i just have design space which you could do in design space but there's some extra steps but this is the picture and it is cut out it gives you little twisty things to unscrew but i already did that it does not. I was looking everywhere for this because I thought I had a cap, but it does not have one. So don't go crazy like me looking for it, okay? Yeah. So let's unscrew this. Don't lose your screws because they super duper little. They will be lost. I don't know 
why people was taking the backing off. You don't have to do all that. Just unscrew the dang thing. Unscrew it. I don't want that one. We'll go back to that one. Unscrew this one. Unscrew this. Y'all, I done started. I done printed out this clock. I did another one with my logo on it. And I can't stop making it. Y'all got that problem? I think we all had a problem as crafters. Can't stop making stuff. Try to just stick to one thing, but you can't. I know y'all know how that is. I know y'all. So now we just pop these bad boys right on off. Remember what order you put them in. Remember. It's hard to see the lines over here because it's white. So that's why you see me cutting it again. I can see a little better now that I boosted up the light. You know, I ain't a perfect cutter, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So here's the part. Feel that middle part? Use this. It's right here. Fill that middle part and bam. Make your hole. I should have brought my own. Um, what you call them in here? You know what I forgot to do, y'all? I don't know. Hold on. Hold up. I forgot to use my little tape. My, um, what do you call it? Um, double sided tape. So let's put some double sided tape. Put it closer to the edge. Yeah. That's good enough. That's good enough. Move it on down up in there. Put these back on.
the camera, sorry y'all. Make sure it keeps it whole. Can't see things in. Screw me good. And voila, there is your clock. It's so pretty. Guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Comment. Um, I'm a craft group. Add the craft group. I cannot talk today for some reason. Add the craft group and post all your wonderful pictures of your clock that you did. I don't mind. Um, it's touched by an angel. 36 is my Instagram and um, my craft group is learn arts and crafts with touch by an angel 36 thank you for watching my video and you guys have a good day